What's up, everybody in the Rogue in Disguise, North American community contributor for World of Warships Blitz, and today's video is going to consist of about four ships. Yeah, one, two, three, four, four, not one, not two, but three, but four ships that are going to be coming out this week. So let's get right into it and not waste any time, ladies and gentlemen. So the first one I'm going to talk about is going to be coming out on the Blitz Pass itself, and it's the first Tier 7 that we've seen on the Blitz Pass this whole time it's been out. So that we've had the Blitz Pass. So this is a one-off type deal. It's pretty freaking good. Um, we're going to skip over a bunch of needless information, and we're just going to jump right into what we need to know. It's built in 1943. Got 15,295 hit points. Um, max speed is 35.84 knots. Main guns are 120 millimeter. L slash 45 in a 3x2 facet, so that means 3 turrets with 2 guns on it for a total of 6 guns that are 120 millimeters. Their max range after everything was said and done, I did everything cool with it, 8.39 kilometers. That includes the historical camouflage. 2% um, chance of setting a fly, fire on it. Main battery armor piercing damage is about 391. Torpedoes. This, these are interesting. So they're 533 millimeter torpedoes. They've got a 53 second reload time. Each torpedo is going to do about 3,400 damage, but the problem is it's only in a 1x4 facet. So that means you've got four torpedoes and that's it. And now you've got to wait a whole minute, almost a whole minute before they reload. So it's rather interesting. The advantage of those, however, is that it's got an 8.11 kilometer range. Not too bad. Uh, torpedo speeds are going to be a little bit faster than normal. They're actually almost at 64 knots, at 63.19 knots. Not too bad. I wish the uh, chance of setting a flooding was a little higher on this, since it is, a, you know, both that's coming in the... But I get it. But it's at 1605%, so it's not too bad. Um, let's jump into what's other important. Large caliber AE damage is at 23. Small caliber AE damage is at 25 at 3.6 kilometers and 1.50 kilometers. Surface detection, after I did everything and added everything, I got it down to 5.15 kilometers from the original six and a half piece. So that's not too bad on that one. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty, the ones that we really want to know about. Starting with tier eight, we're getting three new battleships ladies and gentlemen and i ain't joking about it we're getting the kansas we're getting the vermont and we're getting the minnesota all out of order but uh, whatever but the actual order is kansas minnesota and the vermont seven eight nine and ten and it's going to be in the split right where you see the new Tech tree line, there's a new space in there. That's where that's going to fill in. I'm pretty sure where that's going to go. It kind it kind of looks like where it needs to go, personally, if you look at the tech tree in the American battleships. You see this little base right here. It seems like it's going to fit in there, right in there, pretty good. That's just me. I don't know. It just seems like it pretty good fit right there. And considering I've got three boats in my hand that says what they are, they are what they are. Um, let's look at the tier 10. We are going to look at the tier nine and the, and the tier eight a little bit later. Um, the big difference between the two of them, honestly, is they got 406 millimeter guns. The tier 10 is really got my interest because of the simple fact that they got 457 millimeter main guns. It's ridiculous. I've got, after everything is said and done, I've added everything, boosted up my health, got the historical camouflage, supplies, equipment. I got it up to 65,000 health. Almost, almost, almost 65,500. It's 65,437. It's not too bad. 15% citadel protection, fire and flooding resistance at 25%. Damage reduction at 15%. And torpedo damage reduction is... After everything was said and done, I got it down up to 34.98%. Almost 35% torpedo damage reduction. Pretty freaking good. The only other boat I can think of that does that is the Roma, which you can get it up to 40% with a historical camouflage and a couple other things. But this is at 34.98, almost 35% reduction on the torpedo damage that hits you. So if a shimikaze hits you, you know, 35% of that whole damage is going to get reduced. Is it still going to kill you? Probably. 
more than likely, unless you mitigate it somehow and by running into the torpedo's bow end or turning away and reducing the number of torpedoes hitting you. Shouldn't be broadside to a shimikaze anyway, but that's a different story. Anyway, max speed of this boat is going to be 22.51 knots, time to full speed, <laughs> almost 26 seconds. Uh, time to turn is at 12.26 seconds, so a little slow to turn, and it takes a while to get up to speed. Like I said, the main guns are 457 millimeter main guns. Oh my goodness, they're L slash 45 Mark A's and a 4x3 facet, so it's a total of 12 of these big bad boys on this boat. Ha, ha, ha. Right? Oh, but yes, the range is at 15.72 kilometers, but it takes 29 seconds to reload them. Okay. It's going to take me a while to get to the party, but when I get there, I'm going to mess something up. Right? Right. So, but the main battery, high explosive damage is 1,331. Chance of setting a fire is at 15%. Main battery, armor piercing damage is 2,384. Citadel damage rate of 300%, which it does hit so good. Secondary guns are 127 millimeter L-38 MK-12s in an 8x2 facet. Reload time of 6 seconds. And they were up to 6 kilometers now after I did everything I said before aforementioned as it were uh secondary battery he damage on your secondary guns are going to be 387 with a three percent chance of setting a fire with 16 degrees to turn the ca turn the turrets per second large caliber ae is at 310 at 3.60 kilometers uh, small caliber ae damage also nice at 553 at 1.80 kilometers oh yes it loves to eat it and some of the details of this boat i'm going to get into you with you in just a second but the surface detection one final thing here is that it's at 13.80 kilometers just as long as you can shoot the gun you're going to be noticed ouch but mind you after everything i got done i got it up to 15.72 kilometers so you got maybe a two kilometer buffer baby maybe be detected at max range but then again 13 kilometer range and most of the maps are maybe not that big most of the time you're going to be seen most of the time anyhow so get get out there stay at range and just shoot away or get in there and brawl like a monster but remind you it takes you 30 seconds to reload these big 12 guns in the details of this boat i have to say you get precise aiming in four charges it's only level one though remember when i talked about ee this sucker is going to come with air defense alert two well, what that does is it's going to increase the large caliber AA damage by 100% and the small caliber AA damage by 100% for 20 seconds. And the cooldown time is 75 seconds. So you're going to have three charges of this. Now, wait a minute. If you get the right deal, you could increase that by one while you're commanding with battlefield support. Oh, and you can also get the duration of it increased by 25% if you use air defense expert. Oh, wait, fire supremacy is would be a good idea. So you get one extra rapid reload or in one extra precise aiming. So but we have precise aiming on this boat. So this is going to work out really good. <laughs> so when I took it out, I did massive amount of damage, but I had to take my time and be back a little bit. And then if I had to get close, I just wrecked it. But my secondary guns were the only thing saving grace to it. But they only do high explosive damage. But, okay, so you have to play this kind of tactically all the way around. The other boats are pretty much in similarity, except they got 406. They're big, they're berthy, but they're slow. I mean, slow. Like I said, when they come to the party, they're going to take their time. They're going to be fashionably late, but they're going to wreck shit. I mean, stuff. Yes, well, but we'll edit that later remind yourself to edit the poop out anyway so if you like this video and other ones that, or you see other videos like this make sure you subscribe catch videos right here if not check out our live streams on facebook at fb.gg forward slash the rogue in disguise until the next time don't do anything i wouldn't do twice